Hey everyone, Alison Berger here, and here's all the things I did in Paris during my visit this time. The Hotel de la Marine just opened in 2021, so I'm so excited to go visit it for the first time. As you've walked from the Champs-Élysées to the Rue de Rivoli, you've probably passed this building countless times, and now you can finally enter it. It took five years for it to be renovated into the museum that you get to visit today. And boy, was it worth the wait. At the start of the tour, you are given these headphones that come in nine different languages as you travel back through time to the 18th century. The really cool thing about these headphones is that without scanning anything, without pressing a button, they know exactly which room you're in, so it knows what to inform you about, and if you've had enough in one room and you wanna go into another, the headphones recognize that and will stop and start on their own. I have never experienced an audio tour like this before, and I was really impressed with the technology. Now, Hotel de la Marche was used for different purposes at different times. Most notably, after the revolution, it was used for over 200 years by the Navy. The upper command lived here, but it was mostly offices and control rooms. You'll be blown away by how ornate and detailed each individual stateroom is. One room in particular may remind you of a certain great hall in Versailles. Besides visiting the staterooms, there is a temporary exhibit that changes twice a year. A nice size walk from Hotel de la Marine is the YSL Museum. You start out by learning about the timeline of his life and career before moving on to my favorite part, seeing his designs. Seeing how shapes and forms played such an important role in his designs was really interesting to see, especially when it came to seeing his studio. It was very apparent how he was inspired by artwork that was very structural, like Pierre Mondrian's work, and he brought that into his designs. The last stop is one of my favorites, the Pantheon. Located in the Latin Quarter, what was once a Christian basilica and then a national monument is an incredible place to visit to admire the artwork, the architecture, and the intricate details that were done all by hand around this building. You also must climb the 203 steps to the top. Now you may think it's over once you reach the outside and get this view, but it's not. You still have more steps to go to get up there. And it is so worth it to get incredible views like this of Paris from any angle. You can literally see all of Paris from up here. And if you get lucky enough to see it on a day like this, then I'd say your trip to Paris was complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed visiting one of my all-time favorite cities with me. For more information about the things I did, check out the links below. So until next time, I'm Allison Berger, and don't forget, I'm Fun Size. Au revoir.